It is our responsibility to ensure that we stop trading our gas for grass. A perfect example last year, we had prolonged drought, which is still extending right now. And we had parents giving their daughters to old men who have property, who have grass in exchange of their girls. Perfect example, if my dad has his cows and um, he doesn't have enough grass for them, what happens? I look for a rich man and then the rich man gives me grass. So because I don't have any money to give this person in exchange of the grass, what do I do? I give out my girl. When you're giving out your girl, it has to take a, uh, some procedure in my community, that is the Maasai community. What happens? Uh, for a girl to be termed mature for marriage or ready for marriage, you have to undergo female genital mutilation, that is FGM, before you're married off. And uh, FGM is very uh, important to Maasai because this means that you're, now you're ripe for marriage, you, you can you know, take care of your own family as an individual. Uh, I mean, you can, you can make a home basically as a woman. So um, for a girl to go to marriage, you have to go through the cut. And those are some of the effects of climate change. But what we are just trying to say here, please stop trading our girls for grass.